you mentioned something very interesting while you was you know sharing that with us is that after applying at multiple places and spending so much of money you did not end up with the job that you were looking for for a very long time so a very common scenario but still very difficult for each one of us to deal with in our own ways how did you go about th- that in those times you know when you were really not getting you couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel at that point yeah. in time so look i i i would tell you the mistakes that i tried or assumed would work and didn't one of them was changing my name i thought if i change my name from mustafa to michael on my resume that that would sort it out so I just want to put it out there, it didn't work, okay? Because <laughs> everyone asked me, Mustafa, should I change my name? Is that going to do the job? The reality is no. Be yourself, okay? And probably the best advice that I've got from my mentors, um, both at the time um, and, and even now, and, and this is the, the, now the advice that I give to people, is be yourself. What I realized was when I was going into interviews, I was trying to be someone else. I was trying to basically be this perfect candidate that they're looking for. And me, what I didn't realize is me trying to be this perfect candidate didn't exist in me and didn't even exist in reality. It doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. And because it doesn't Absolutely. exist, it's a mistake for people to try to be that, you know, this figure. You can't be. Yep. All right. But when you're yourself, um, you tend to be more confident. You tend to be authentic. You tend to be genuine. You, these are the qualities that employers are looking for. They want to know who are you as a person? Who are you really? Okay. Um, and again, I say this, education alone does not cut it. My mistake was I thought I just had to spend 24-7 educating myself. Did I get the technical skills? Absolutely, 110%. I had 12 industry yeah. qualifications from world-leading organizations such as wow. Microsoft, Cisco, um, you know, and, and others. And then I realized, okay, no, maybe I need a degree. I then get a, a university degree with a reputable you know, um, you know, um, you know, university. Mm-hmm. But then I still couldn't get a job and I was baffled. I said, wow, the universities are telling me that if I was to get this piece of paper, that I would get a job. But it was a lie all along. It's actually not true. Okay, I'm sorry to break it, but it's actually not true. And these employability figures that they boast about, 90% employability, I'm sorry, but it's all BS. Because I'll tell you why it's BS. That employability it is, doesn't say to you that you've got a job within that field that you graduated. You could be working in McDonald's and just forked out thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars for a degree for this little piece of paper. As long as you're still working at McDonald's, according to this statistic, you're 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 now employed, and that that degree got you that job. Okay, so and I think we need to call it, call this out. I think we need more transparency from the universities, because what I'm seeing is a lot of hardworking people. Who are getting educated, but they know they, they they don't know that that's not enough. So you need people skills, and that I did not have. I didn't actually have that. I wasn't as confident as I am today. I wasn't. As, I couldn't communicate properly as I do today. But once I realised what I needed to develop properly. Okay, and my, my best advice here is if you don't know what you need to work on, get yourself a mentor. Because I can assure you, me get it, if I didn't get that mentor that I had in my life from early days, who, by the way, happened to be a CEO of an international company, and never underestimate who you will get as a mentor. You've got to ask. If you don't ask, you will never know whether that person is going to say yes or no. And so... I took that opportunity. I asked, and honestly, it was probably the best decision of my life. You know, and that person does 